Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, man. Big things going on today. So we trailered the boat down to Shark River and we're heading offshore for tuna and anything else we can get. Maybe some mahi, maybe some cobia, and maybe some kingfish. Had a little bit of a snafu coming down here with a little bit of a spindle issue on the trailer, but we got that rectified. Boat's in the water, loaded up, ice down, ready to go. Boys are parking the truck and we are off. See you out there. Never have I had more gear on this boat than ever before. <laughs> than right now. She's all rigged up. She's yeah, rigged. Don't, don't uh, hit the throttle too hard, right? I'd say hit it right now. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Is that for squid? Here we go. Oh, yeah, he might still be there. I get mine in bunches, Vito. I don't get them one at a time like you. I... Wow, he turned red as shit. Look at that. Look at that. Live well or cooler? Nah, eh. Yeah. You eat that one. All right. Are you out? 
Yeah, I'm gonna send this one. This is gonna be the down rod. I got balloons ready. You want me to crimp one? Uh, I want to get the flat. No, we'll set out one of the 80s last. I want to set out all the 30s. We're in 97. Is that the flatty? The, the flat one? That's a flat? No, this is a down rod. Anyway. You gotta put this one here. Do you have a party balloon? Yeah. yeah. Someone's got to get the party going. Why not? Might as well be you. Right. You're the most qualified for it. Definitely, yeah. That's for sure. Alright, so we're setting out some rods. We're going to run about three setups. we got two out on balloons and one down rod. One guy hooked up here just south of us. Had one hanging off the side of his boat, so fish are here. We definitely caught plenty of bait, so tensions are high. Hopeful. Behind. You got another one right here. See rubber bands on this one? Yeah. It's a rubber bands at the bow. How? This is why I'm at. Switch it. Right. We're gonna set it way out. This switch nice. It's not gonna be much resistance. Here you go. Comes up, blows it up right there. Fucking come on, man. You. Watch. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. We edit that out. Magic of editing, bro. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> I fish with Vito a lot, so oh, I've got yeah, he's made me so good at editing, man. Oh, it's Johnny, ridiculous. Johnny said imagine he comes up and just blows it up right now. He's gonna fucking cut my pink. Johnny's like, and now look at him. Oh shit. <laughs> we let one or two slip by. Go ahead. Oh, that's a killer. Here. Got it, 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 got that's Brady. Right there. No, listen, whoever's near it is near it, dude. I saw a fucking. Perfect. Hold, him hold him up, John. You hold him up. Hold him up. Nice. You want to put him on box? Mm -hmm. I gotta measure him real quick. Right here. Right there. Make sure it's 37. All that. Do you know what I'm gonna do with that? I'm gonna get that thing home. He's over 38. 38. Oh uh, yeah, we eat fresh Kobe tonight, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. I want some pics real quick. The oh, fuck? I just called it Jersey Kobe, huh? <laughs> yes, sir, man. Good job, guys. On the meter, running. That was about to go on, but it's doing a watch. All right, we gotta get another flatty back out. Okay. Hey. Well, after landing at Kobe, ten minutes into setting up, tunas never showed up for us today, but the conditions were beautiful. We were able to stay out a long time, had a great time, boat ran great, saw a lot of life swimming around out there, just didn't see the tunas. So we decided to head back in, clean up all our squid, and fillet our cobia.
so it's the next day we are back at seaboard marine so yesterday wasn't without an incident or two um we did take the boat out of the water we hauled it down to shark river inlet normally we leave out of here every time we go fishing but uh yesterday we wanted to make the trip shorter by bringing the boat down 20 minute trailer ride no big deal but we had an issue with one of our when we issue one of the tires smoking on the highway, I mean, 10 minutes after we got on the road. So we didn't let it stop us. We just kind of slowly drove to the ramp. We put the boat in the water, we fished. And when we got back, Johnny and Vito took the trucks and the trailer home. They took care of the tire and drove it home. And the rest of us, well, me and Bronson, the rest of us, we jumped on the boat and we took it back from Shark River back here to Seaboard. So today it's all about cleaning the fish or all the squid. We got back yesterday, we were tired. We knocked the sides off of that cobia we caught. And now it's all about cleaning up the squid. And the boys are here. I just got here. They're here already. They're working it, they're getting it done. And I'm gonna go clean the boat because it is filthy and I'm gonna show it to you when I get on there. Love the crew I got. These guys are amazing. Bronson, Johnny, a full strike. I love fishing with these guys, man. We have a great time and yesterday was epic. So, got work to do. You gotta love it when you come down to your boat and you just see guys cleaning up what you caught the day before. How's it going? What's up, bro? What's, on, What's bro? up, fellas? Got some mice. How we doing? We got a bunch here already. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, Look at that. Stuff. That's all the edible stuff right there. Yeah. Tentacles. Cut them in the ring. Some oh, of them. Yeah. Got them odd. Beautiful. Nice. Where's uh, where's the celebrity guest? He's at the gym. He's still there? Yeah. Going here. All right, so Johnny, show us how we clean these squid up. Put your fingers in there and break. There's a little fiber that connects the head and all the body to the inside of the tube. And then once you break that out, slowly pull out. So you get all of it out at the same time, all the way to the ink sac. And then Bronson is going to cut that off. And then to get the skin of the tube, you can put your finger in there. I just run it right down that ridge? Right around the ridge. And you see how mm -hmm. it gives you all that. Just break it off. Keep working your, your fingers around. You break it there. And then it's just the part my favorite. pulling it down. Yeah, that that's like... Then you put your fingers in here to break that out. Basically like, I guess it's like their backbone. Right, That it looks like a piece of plastic. It's like an endoskeleton yeah. for them. Yeah. It's what and you always cut out when you buy squid and you're cutting it up exactly. for bait. Exactly. You, you work your fingers in there to break it off again. And then if you pull slow, the whole thing comes out. There you go. And then clean that out, eat it. Rinse, repeat tentacles. 200 more times. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, oh, wait, we got to get this. Here we go. There he is. There he is. It's like hearing a bird with a mating call. You know, it is. It's like leaving away. a picnic basket uh, unattended on the beach. Seagulls just come swarming in. Look at that tank top. Miami Vice, baby. You don't. What's up? You're All right, so we're going to clean up the rest of these squid, man. What a day, what a day, guys. What a day. Out with full strike, baby. What's up, buddy? All right. Feeling good, feeling good. Been eating good, too. I ate some of yesterday. You had some of that yesterday? Yeah, uh, the wife is actually awaiting bags right. of, of squid to make. Well, she's going to get them like this. So it's like if you got them from the store. Right, like yeah, that. look at that. Nice right. finished product. All right, man. Love it. I got a very dirty boat to clean. So I got work to do. All right, so not as terrible as I thought. As you can see, there's... Uh, little bit of that ink that squirted everywhere yesterday and again if those that know me best know this really keeps me up at night knowing my boat's this dirty but I know why it's dirty and let me tell you something I'll do that every day gotta get all the salty grit off it yeah oh man <laughs> we have got our work cut out for us.
This Red Bull has been on the boat since April, I think. Good old Vito. <laughs> All right, we're going to get at it. We're going to make a right. So it's time to get scrubbing and make her look like new again. Time to put the music on. Good times roll. Okay, so we got this thing all cleaned up. As you can see, much different in the boxes. We got everything looking good again. As you can see, that ain't cleaned right up. I hope you can see that in the camera. I got the sun kind of bearing down on me. But everything looks good. Nice and clean. These were all covered in ink. Well, my EVA foam was sprayed down pretty good. A lot of stains on these doors. We got it all up. So, she's looking as good as new again. So, so this was an adventure. And it was the first time I ever took this boat, put it on a trailer, took it somewhere to go fish. And, uh, you know, I had the right guys with me. Uh, you know, John, Bronson, Vito. They phenomenal they i was at a baseball game they came and got the boat fueled it up put it on a trailer they sent me a picture of it all ready to go so monday morning off we went down to shark river got out we did have a little mishap as i mentioned earlier with the spindle on the trailer but we just went slow made it to the ramp sailed the boat home from shark river back here to the marina so everything went great despite having what could have been something that ended our day. So we fought through it, we worked together as a team and we got it done and caught that cobia. I never thought I'd ever boat a cobia on this boat when I put it in the water. That's why you go out there and fish, guys. You never know what's gonna happen. And that's why I love it so much. And if you guys are out there, I hope you have a day just like that. This was an absolute great time. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these, taking the boat and going someplace to do offshore fishing. It was just an absolute great time, as well as the whaler. The trailer's in, going to pick it up right now, and we're gonna be able to put the, the Boston Whaler on a trailer, take it wherever we want now. And that's what I've been waiting to do. So time is now, we're just starting in August, so plenty of summer left to go out and do a lot of cool things. And special thanks to Captain John and Captain Bronson of Full Strike Sport Fishing. Great friends, great time, great crew. Those guys are awesome. If you want to book a charter and catch fish, whether it's inshore, you want to go offshore, call them. Full Strike Sport Fishing at Lawrence Harbor, New Jersey. You won't regret it, man. They will put you on fish and show you a great time. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the subscribers. We are closing in on 500. I never thought we would be this close so fast, but thanks to you, we are. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Appreciate every one of you. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.